What's happening? I have a super cool update for all of the clean theme customers that just got released today. And I'm so excited to share this with you as it has been one of the most requested customizations and or features over the past few years. HubSpot had recently released a new feature giving customers more control over the blog listing page. That's the page that is literally the first page that when someone goes to your blog, they see. For all intents and purposes, this has been very hard to edit without actually jumping into the code. Until now, now you have much more access to edit the blog listing page, much like you do with the website pages utilizing the CMS. And so in this video, I'm gonna show you exactly what you need to know to get this rocking and rolling so you have way more control over your blog. So without further ado, let's jump straight into the video. <laughs> We're gonna dive straight into HubSpot and waste no time here. So the first thing we're gonna do is jump over to our content settings, which can be accessed by this gear icon right up top. And then we wanna go down to website and then blog. This is how we can control the template of the actual blog that we're using. So here under the templates tab, typically what you might see right here is a way to associate a listing page. And you're probably gonna see the try out the new editor experience. And that is what you want to go ahead and click so that you can select the new clean drag and drop blog listing page. Once you do, what we will be able to do is come in and edit this page. And this is where all of the magic happens so that you can actually have a lot finer grain control over the look and feel and content on this page. Now, before we get into how you can actually add more modules, I wanna show you a few key differences. When you're going through here and making edits, you can go ahead and make them directly in the modules themselves, much like you're used to utilizing the CMS and some of the modules that are included in the clean series. For example, here is our hero banner module, and this one is specific to the blog. And as you'll know, you can come in here to the row settings. Maybe we want to change this back to a gradient, or we want to use uh, an image or a video. Now you have full control over what that's going to look like. So I'll apply those changes just so we can see this take effect. And as this loads, um, we can kind of come through here and find a few more of the features, which you'll probably be very familiar with. One of those features would be in column two, which is the form. Now you can go ahead and either utilize your blog to subscribe form, add a completely different form or remove the form altogether should you not want to use that space for that particular purpose. Now, as we go down into this blog card, this is going to be a new module specific to this blog listing page. So if I click into this new blog post grid card, you can see I have a lot more settings here than I used to. So you can easily come down here and show the read time, um, show the, you know, control the post title, and then you have finer grain control around showing the summary, the tags, the read more link, and all those elements that you would want and expect to have access to. Then you would come over here to the new styles tab, which is going to be a new feature of the clean theme moving forward as new modules are introduced. And here under the style tab, you're gonna have some control over the background color and a few other items like the pagination feature, which would normally be right down here if you had, say, a bunch of blog posts, but you only wanted to show a certain amount on this listing page. Now, that's the basics, that's what comes out of the box, but here's where it gets super interesting. As you can see right down here, I've got some new modules that I just went ahead and threw in. That is the cool part. So I can go ahead and come over here and delete these modules that I don't want, or I can come back in here and add some new ones. Like maybe I want a logo scroller at the bottom of my blog. I can easily drag and drop that right into place and then have access to all of the options here to add logos. Maybe I wanna go ahead and add a call to action or text or different content at the base of the page. I can come in here and grab my multi-column content module, 
and drop it, say, right above those logos. And now I have all that content sitting right there that I can go in just as I would normally be able to within the CMS when editing a web page and edit this to my heart's content and add as many calls to action, forms, content, videos, whatever you like, it is your party. And now you have a way to actually organize and create a page that uh, is gonna work for you and your company. And that is the quick rundown and the exciting news about this recent update to Clean. I hope you're as excited as I am. I can't wait to get in here and actually build out my own personal blog utilizing this template now that it has been released. If you have any questions about utilizing the new listing page in the drag and drop builder, feel free to leave a comment below, reach out, you know where to get a hold of me. And with that, I'm out. Have an awesome day and I will catch you later.